is happening guys welcome back to the channel been really busy getting this p51 intake squared away uh for those of you that don't know this is where the p51 originated the intake that i run on my car it all started off as a prototype kind of grew into something that's gaining traction out there obviously because it is proven to enhance the performance of the third gen uh coyote so my car for those of you that don't know it's a 2018 mustang gt a10 with full bolt-ons, Lund Racing Tune, and um, my P51 intake there. So it's, you know, the free-flowing exhaust, Borla S-types out back, uh, Lund E85 Tune, and the P51 intake. And this combination is very potent um, here at uh, 5,700 feet above sea level. And 7,000 to 8, 9,000 DA sometimes. It's just terrible conditions for making power out here with the heat and everything in the summer. You know, 470 wheel horsepower is pretty respectable considering all of that. Uh, I do have a ported 18 intake manifold coming. I do not want to go Cobra Jet because the car, I don't feel like it's worth revving up to 8,000 plus. Just putting extra wear and tear on the engine. Just to gain a few horsepower here and there, especially uh, when all the horsepower is made all to the right of the needle, you know, you're the higher RPM band. Uh, I would like the power band that the Coyote currently has, and hopefully it'll be enhanced with, in combination with the P51, which is already proven to show big gains, uh, not only uh, overall peak horsepower, but it carries power very well into the higher RPM, and hopefully... A 2018 ported manifold is going to enhance that as well. So stay tuned for that. I'll throw it on the rollers when I get that installed. We'll see what it does. And so very proud of the car. Very happy with the way it's running. No issues. There is not one problem with this car. It does all the ticking and knocking and whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's just not it's not burning a ton of oil or anything. So car's running great. Start for air up here at you know 6,000 feet above sea level with 8,000 DAs in fact uh, last night I, I think it was about 8,000 DA when I was out making these runs so just terrible terrible atmospheric conditions for an NA car so I was very surprised that the CTSV didn't have a clear advantage uh you know with the boost and everything so the car's fast it does exactly what it should for what it has uh but the p51 intake is definitely something that uh you should look into i i swear by it uh if those of you that don't know um this all started off as a project you go back and look at my videos it was a one-off piece that i did here in my garage and it's kind of quickly gained traction and evolved into something else with a you know that has uh been proven and it, it reproduces the results very well on other vehicles out there at different altitudes and everything so so for those of you that don't know this started off as a homemade garage project for myself and it turned out working out very well after months and months of testing i felt it was time to get uh, someone else involved to see if this was something that uh, and it just turned into something over time that i, I didn't imagine i didn't see coming so back in october I kind of came up with this idea being that there was a whole bunch of speculation that there was no good cold airs out there for Gen 3 Coyote uh, cars. So I took it upon myself. So if you guys go back a couple of videos, you'll see that the, the prototype uh, put together, I took it to the dyno, compared it against the stock box, and there was a 15 wheel horsepower gain over the stock box. Even though the stock box had a high flow brand new filter in it, best conditions it could be in as far as that goes. And... It did well, it just falls off miserably at the top. As to where the P51, when I put it on, switched it over, didn't even upload, did not change anything about the tune, ran the same exact tune that's on the car right now, which is from Lund Racing, same tune file, 15 wheel horsepower pickup at peak, and we carried about 25 to 30 more horsepower up top over where the stock filter falls off where the stock filter uh air box falls off sharply at about 7100 it's done it doesn't make any more power it's all over with it, it just starts diving so this one carried it a lot better higher into the rpm range so with the p51 it actually increased the overall horsepower and it carries a good amount more higher into the rpm range which makes it usable to carry more momentum over into the next gear shift very happy with it if you guys haven't heard already 
uh like i said this was a project i took on i prototyped it i tested it once i found out it had it had potential to run very cleanly on the car it ran like stock there was no issues with weather uh i solved some positive air charge issues that uh with the original design have those have been addressed there is no issues with this setup at all right now it idles perfectly it drives perfectly it it gives you a noticeable top end kick to your third gen kind of segues me into the next one is if it, that wasn't true i don't know if you guys know who matt 760 is but uh he's my partner now on the project i got matt involved he did a lot of testing for me data logging uh and now he is part of the project and uh my partner on the project so uh, go check him out ask him questions if you need to whatever um but if you guys are looking to pick one of these up they're reasonably priced as to compared what's out there for what you're getting i can guarantee the results on on my setup um as to where the other ones are just that claims because i'm going to tell you right now uh i what i did on the dyno was i just swapped an airbox out for the p51 and without tweak to the tune or none of that uh smoke and mirrors the car just picked up power that was it there was nothing else done to the car i didn't load any more tune files did not alter anything one simple thing took the factory airbox out put in the p51 setup boom there was power it was noticeable power in and, and the power that it carried up top was unexpected to say the least because i thought it, it might gain a few horsepower but not only did it exceed my expectations right there but it what i failed to see immediately was how much power was being carried up top which was even more impressive i knew the car had picked up something somewhere and i knew especially on the top end because when i took it out for its initial test run so to speak i just knew that there was more up top available because it shifted super violent up top and uh more than it usually does so i knew that there was more power being carried into the next shift uh you know from the momentum standpoint if you guys are interested i've got kits ready to go hit me up i'll get them out to you they're reasonably priced uh for what they do for the price it's unbeatable bang for buck uh, i promise you that you'd, you'd be hard pressed to find anything better than that um and it's guaranteed to work with a stock idle no rev hang no no stupid stuff ieds are fantastic drivability and idle is fantastic i've gone through car washes we've put it through adverse weather snow everything it did fine there was no issues with it whatsoever so if you're interested guys p51 you know i can hook you up if you want to uh do something on a comparison video something like that i'm also open to that let me know and if you guys haven't subscribed already go ahead and hit the subscribe button turn on your notifications that way you won't miss any more content like this um, but I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm not trying to be a salesman here. I'm just pointing out the fact that I have proof that this works. All right, guys, I'm out. I'll see you in the next video.